Hi there, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to loop over nine collection methods that I like to use from yeah, a weekly basis. Not a day-to-day -day basis, but a weekly basis. So let's dive into it. All right, so I have this test command here um, with a collection from number one until eight. Um, I have an output ready. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create that output. The output is equal to um, our collection and whatever method that we chain onto here. Um, for starters, we're going to start off with contains. I want to know if number seven, for example, is inside, whoops, inside our uh, collection. If I run this code, yes, it is. The same thing for number eight, because number eight is also in the collection. Save that, run that. And if I do that for number nine, well, you can guess it already. We're going to get a false out of that. So that's it for the contains. This is very handy. Next up, we're going to use um, the average. So we could use average like that, but we have a shorthand for that, AVG. Uh, and I want to know the average of this. Um, well, it's not the, the middle one. It's actually the sum of it all uh, divided um, with the amount of um, items in our collection. If I run that, we have 4.5, and that's actually correct because 8 plus 7 plus 6 and so on divided by 8 is 4.5. Next up is count. So, as you can guess it already, count will result in um, 8 because we have 8 items in our collection this in this example here this is very basic it's yeah it seems like not much is going on but this can be very beneficial in production uh, environments all right next up i want to use um let's say forget and this one can be um, kind of tricky let's say i want to forget number three well you might think that number three will be gone. Whoops, number, number three will be gone. But let's check out the output. Number three is still there. But it's number four that's missing because it's actually the key of the array that has been deleted. We can um, yeah, show this a bit better with uh, an actual collection. Uh, so for example, I'm going to create a collection here uh, with name equals to uh, my name, for example, um, age, uh, gender, like that, is male, and for example, country is Belgium. Whoops, Belgium, like that. If this is my collection, then I want to forget here forget uh let's say age and if i run this i get name gender and country because the key age is forgotten from my collection all right cool for the next one i want to use the each so let's create another variable here users and i have my user model linked up here so I can do user, whoops, user, um, let's say take, take 20, get, and dash. this will grab 20 users from the database. And I want to have users um, each, and this will take on, well, an, uh, an array or a function. So a function in here uh, of user, and I also want a key, for example, like that. There we go. And in here, I want to print, uh, for example, a dash. And I want to have the user name dot. And this will print a nice little sentence of all the 
uh, users in there with uh, a dash and a dot combined. So, and I can get rid of this DD because the output won't have anything inside. There we go. We now we have uh, the first name, the second user, his name, third user, fourth user, and so on. There we go. Now, next up, I want to plug the name of those. So grabbing the output back here, I want output to be uh, users uh, plug and plug the name. So I only want the names of the users in here. There we go. And I have an error, which is this users, uh, because I commented out the take here and I'm going to leave it there. There we go. And now I have 19 keys, so 20 users, only their names printed out. All right, cool. Next up, I want to combine two collections. For example, um, I have the keys collection. So collect and the keys uh, contain the name. The Well, I'm going to do the same thing as before. Age, gender, and what did I do? Country, I think, yeah, country. Country, like so. Then I have the values is also a collection which have Bert, which is my name. My age is 33. Don't judge. Thank you. My gender is male and I'm from Belgium. There we go. And my output, I want to have that the combination of both. So I want to start off with the keys because that's the primary thing here. And I want to combine that with the values like that. And what did I do wrong? I, okay, a semicolon here. If I run this, whoops, I still have an error because values, what did I do here? Oh, it's collect, not collect, All right. There we go. Now we have one collection that is the combination of both the keys collection and the values collection. That's cool, right? All right, next up, we have the, um, let's see, uh, we're going to go for um, the chunk. All right, so output, and I want the users that I had, I had, if you remember correctly, I had 20 users. I want them to be uh, in chunks of, uh, let's say, five users at a time. There we go. And well, yeah, to, to make it a little bit more readable, I'm going to uh, only plug, and this is cool, you can also combine and chain them all together. So I want to plug the names and then I want to chunk them in pieces of five. Run that again. And what did I do wrong? Pluck, 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 pluck. Uh, all right, I did plunk instead of pluck. There we go. Now we have um, four chunks of five users each. That's pretty cool if you want to chunk up your data to have them processed in, in some kind of way. All right, cool. Then I want to have the difference between um, an empty collection. So output, I want to know if users is empty. This will, well, this will result uh, uh, false because it is not empty. And we can do the opposite thing with is not empty, which is true, but we can also uh, create a test case here which collects nothing and if we comment this out and do this from the test case well this will return a false because test case is indeed empty so the is not empty is false and also the opposite is empty will return a true here all right so that's it. That are nine collection methods that I like to use from time to time. There are a lot more out there. You can find them on the Laravel documentation website. Uh, if you have any questions about this, 
put them in the comments down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in one of the next videos. Take care. Bye bye.